Japan is one of the world's most highly demanding markets for agricultural imports. Food irradiation is not accepted. Strict regulations on pesticide residues are required. Agricultural imports must not be contaminated by pests that are banned from entering. Despite these challenges, Vietnam's agricultural sector has worked to help unlock the Japanese market thanks to the determination of Plant Protection Department, Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, as well as cooperation with partners, especially International Finance Corporation, IFC. As a result, Vietnam has demonstrated the highest standards of pest control to ensure high potential fresh longan fruit could enter the Japanese market for the first time. The landmark step forward has also opened up a new path for other fruit exports, as well as elevated the position of Vietnamese agricultural products globally. The journey to export fresh longan to Japan. Well blessed by soil and climate, Vietnam has the advantages of natural conditions to grow and develop a variety of tropical fruits, including longan, which is among the world's favorite fruits. The fruit is grown across 80,000 hectares in the north and south to become one of Vietnam's top five fruits by planting area, with production of 600,000 tons per year. There are numerous longan varieties in Vietnam, such as Long Hung Yen, Hung Chi, Mien Tiet, and Tio Da Bo. Vietnamese longans are high in nutritional value and have been exported to 17 countries and regions globally. Regarding the Japanese market, the country imports nearly 20 billion US dollars of agricultural goods every year, including various tropical vegetables and fruits. However, those from Vietnam only account for less than 3% of this market's total imports. Realizing the potential of this market, the Plant Protection Department since 2016 has submitted application documents to Japan to open its doors to Vietnamese longan. However, Japan's strict requirements on cytosanitary, food safety, and product quality, continuous fluctuations in long and growing areas, and especially the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, hindered this process. To address these challenges, in April 2020, International Finance Corporation, IFC, a member of the World Bank Group, and the Plant Protection Department signed a Memorandum of Understanding in April 2020 to provide technical support to accelerate the completion of technical market access documents and export negotiations. This involved a wide range of activities, including inspecting, making a list of qualified planting areas and granting a production unit code, disinseminating technical farming processes, as well as publishing a list of pesticides and fertilizers permitted for use. At the same time, the Plant Protection Department organized training courses on registering and obtaining an agricultural production unit code for longan growers. Besides, the department also worked with packing facilities to ensure that all activities met Japanese requirements. Từ năm 20 tới nay thì là cũng được cái ở trên tỉnh trên cục bảo vật vật đó là rồi sở nông nghiệp rồi các sở trên đó thì đều có cái hướng dẫn và nhất là cái cục bảo vệ vật cái bảo dùng trồng thì hiện nay là coi như ở đây cũng trên dưới là 300 cái cái mã dùng trà e ba hecta rồi rồi đó là được trên 5 mã dùng trồng của 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 hợp tác xã cái quy trình của hợp tác xã đó đi sâu vô phân hữu cơ làm cho cái trái nhãn là nó đủ cái độ là đẹp hơn cái những khi mà mình chưa thực hiện cái hữu cơ ăn là nó ngọt hơn nè rồi cái trái nhãn cái màu cũng đẹp hơn rồi cái độ lớn cũng lớn để cho đủ cái tiêu chuẩn xuất khẩu. Most remarkably, experiments on pre-export phytosanitary treatment were successfully implemented for the first time with the application of the cold treatment method only accepted by the Japanese market. This is viewed as a safe method as there is no risk of residues and it can be conducted during transportation, which helps bring the fresh long gang quickly to importing markets. Chúng tôi đã chứng minh được sự không tồn tại của một số đối tượng kiểm dịch bắt buộc của Nhật Bản để giảm những cái khâu xử lý không cần thiết cũng như là trong phương pháp xử lý lạnh thì đã tìm ra được cái nhiệt độ, thời gian cũng như là khối lượng phù hợp nhất để vừa xử lý được dịch hại hiệu quả vừa giữ được chất lượng của trái nhãn tươi. 
The experiment had three phases, each repeated three times. Especially in the final phase of the experiment, more than 20,000 flies must be introduced to 1,500 longans each time to verify the effectiveness of the cold treatment method and handling time applied earlier in a large-scale experiment, similar to the commercial-scale treatment method. Normally, this process takes up three years to complete, but in this case, it was shortened to just 18 months to mid-2022. Through running small and large-scale experiments simultaneously and taking full advantage of longan harvest seasons in the north and south to ensure the continuity of the work. In addition, full details on the outcome were delivered ahead of schedule to ensure early review and approval from the Japanese side. Hiện nay chúng ta đã đàm phán thành công và đã chính thức được xuất khẩu sang thị trường Nhật Bản với nhãn. Thì IFC thì cũng đã hỗ trợ rất đắc lực trong cái việc là hỗ trợ cho cục toàn bộ cái cái phần cái mảng nghiên cứu chúng tôi đấy là là về đây là một trong nghiên cứu rất là mất hơn 6 tháng trời là để để là cái khâu chuẩn bị thôi những cái thí nghiệm phải phải mua các vài tấn nhãn và phải cấy vào trong đó khoảng 20 000 các cái loại các cái, cái các cái pha như là của trứng rồi ấu trùng khác nhau của của rồi đồ quả thì đây là phải nói một cái rất là kỳ công và có thể nói rất, rất là cảm ơn và cũng thấy rằng cái sự cộng tác phối hợp rất là hiệu quả because the experiment was conducted during the COVID-19 outbreak, Japanese experts could not visit Vietnam for direct on-site inspections. However, with the help of real-time technology, they watched the activities online instead. For its part, the Vietnamese side provided detailed information about the activities to the Japanese authorities. As a result, in June 2022, Japan sent experts to Vietnam for direct visual inspections of the production unit code, cold treatment method, and packaging facilities. This was a decisive step to export Longan to Japan. And the landmark news came on November 23, 2022, as Japan's Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries welcomed Vietnamese Longan exports to this high potential market. You know, the Longan market in particular has really made a massive achievement by breaking into the Japanese market for the first time. And that was due to some of the support that we gave the Ministry of, of Agriculture around dealing with pesticides and meeting the standards in Japan. Um, and I think if, if Vietnam can continue on that path, they can really take advantage of a, of a more, pardon me, the expression, more fruitful opportunity um, in, uh, in the market for fruits and vegetables in Long Gone in particular. And there are huge markets for export in EU, China, Turkey. Um, so we really think here at IFC there's a great opportunity for Vietnam and I think this opportunity um, has presented itself very well. So far, 57 production unit codes have been granted and 1,230 hectares of Longan now qualified to enter the Japanese market. Dong Tat province accounts for 780 hectares or more than 50% of the total qualified area with Bac Zang, Vinh Thuan, Ba Ria Vung Tao, Hai Zung, Hung Yi and Vinh Long provinces accounting for the remainder. The Longan orchards are ready to harvest. The packaging facilities meet the technical standards set by Japan. The efforts and commitment of the plant protection department, localities and Longan growers has paid off. In January 2023, the first batches of 10 tons of Vietnamese Longan were exported to the Japanese market. It is expected that thousands of tons will be exported to this market in 2023 and much more in the following years. This success will not only help thousands of Longan farmers and cooperatives access a stable market to sell their goods, but also contribute to affirm Vietnam's reputation as a transparent, responsible, and sustainable exporter of agricultural products.